before John Glenn orbited the Earth, he was a test pilot for the Crusader jet. This one behind me here likely was one that was flown by Glenn before being retired and later being brought to the McAuliffe Shepard Discovery Center in Concord. Glenn was actively engaged in the astronaut corps after returning from space and was eager to return. Little did he know that um, he was so important to the morale of Americans that in our president's judgment, he shouldn't go back into space and risk his life. That's when he turned to politics, representing his home state of Ohio, finally, in 1974. He you know, made a successful run for the U.S. Senate and uh, was a uh, leader in the U.S. Senate. And, um, you know, I think when he announced for president, uh, that, that enthusiasm and excitement uh, carried over. His bid for the 1984 Democratic presidential nomination brought him to the Granite State as he campaigned for the New Hampshire primary. People looked up to him in a very, um, across the board, you know, no matter who you were, Republican, Democrat, Independent, you, uh, you admired him, you uh, looked up to him. I think a true American hero and uh, someone who probably, uh, you know, was one of the, you know, looking back in history, you know, one of those people that, uh, you know, loved the country uh, so much. Despite his popularity, he dropped out of the race after finishing third in New Hampshire. It was a hard-fought campaign. There was a snowstorm on the day of the primary uh, voter turnout was light. I think all of that simplicity, kindness, and genuine good spirit that he manifested all of the time just didn't, it didn't catch on in a political environment. He dropped out of the race with uh, tremendous respect and admiration and went back to his work in the U.S. Senate. An astronaut then turned politician. Tonight, John Glenn is still being remembered as an American hero. In Concord, Suzanne Roundtree, WMUR News 9.